Democracy? Democracy. Democracy is what these people need. Hell, it's not even what they want. America's been running around the globe trying to install democracies in nation after nation for a century, and it hasn't worked one time. Now, why do you think that is? Because these countries don't have the most basic building blocks necessary to support a democracy. Little things like we ought to be tolerant of those who disagree with us, or we ought to be tolerant of those who worship a different god than us, or that a journalist ought to be able to disagree with a fucking president. Do you think you can walk into this country based on fundamentalist religious principles, drop a couple of bombs, topple a dictator, and start a democracy? From invaders and from themselves. People need a leader who can both provide the constraints and the support to keep chaos at bay. You give them that, they'll follow. And that's where I give me a plan on attack. You told me everything. What kind of attack? Politics. All over the world. They want me to compromise the existence. Where are they planning on him? Seattle, Paris, Tokyo. Thousands will die. We have to tell someone. We have to tell everyone. It's okay, it's all right. Take care of this right now. There are some days we never forget. Moments burned into our memory until the day we die. Where were you the day everything changed? Four years ago, one man tried to destroy our way of life. One man tried to throw the world into darkness. It felt like we could never find our way back. But we did. Together. We're the way forward. This man is responsible for 50,000 deaths, General. We are going in. An operation on foreign sovereign soil, it would be an act of war without congressional approval. Atlas is an internationally registered private company. We don't need Congress. On whose authority? On my authority! Congratulations, you've achieved what no government was able to. The last four years have been huge for you. In the wake of the KVA attacks, Atlas has become the world's biggest corporation. And you now preside over the world's largest standing military. So what's next for Jonathan Irons? We sell power. We are a superpower for hire. And all these honorable men lecturing the world from the floors of Congresses and Parliaments whose time has long since passed, refuse to admit, publicly at least, ideas don't determine who's right. Power determines who's right. And I have the power. So I'm right. I am honored to be the first CEO of a private corporation to become a member of the United Nations Security Council. Unfortunately, my appearance today has been clouded by a flurry of speculation that my company is developing a weapon of mass destruction which would be capable of targeting specific ethnic groups. I want to address these allegations head on. Are we developing such a weapon? No, we are not. Because we've already developed it. The United Nations is a relic from a different time when nations were unique in their ability to solve the world's problems. I have sent people to die in your wars. So I feel uniquely qualified to tell you, your wars don't work. Because politicians don't know how to solve problems. But I do. So let's be clear, I am here to solve the world's problems, and 
I believe the world's problems begin with you. The world is asking one question. Why did I attack the United States? The United States has had the world in a constant state of war for over a hundred years. Time and again, we have seen the catastrophic results of this belligerent, militaristic policy. These wars haven't led to resolution or peace. These wars have only led to more wars. The United States has set the agenda because they wielded the biggest stick. Well, no more. This is not the beginning of a war. This is the end of all. It's over! What I have started won't end with me. It's bigger than me, and it's certainly bigger than you! You think I'm a monster? That's only because you don't have the conviction to do what's necessary. Oh, I'm saving the world from itself. When there's no one left to challenge Atlas, there will be no more war. There had to be sacrifices along the way. Mitchell, pull me up. I'm not letting go, so you can pull me up. Mitchell! What are you doing? What are you doing? Mitchell! I gave you that arm! Mitchell! I gave you a second chance! 